Her name is Kristen Kaler. She is with us from IUP Lively Arts a couple of days away from Christmas. I bet you have a few stocking stuffer ideas, don't you? I do. I do. It's funny that you ask. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have been letting people know if you are anything like me, mm-hmm. you probably don't have your Christmas shopping done. <laughs> so we've been, been trying to get the word out that if you don't have a Christmas gift for somebody who's kind of hard to buy for, why not get them tickets to a Lively Arts event here at go. IUP? Yeah. Right in your own backyard. That's great. I, and you have some great options, too. We do. We do. Uh, and I, I would like to make a plug for the timing, if I could, too. We're mm-hmm. getting ready to head into Christmas break here. So uh, we will be here until the end of the week. Okay. So uh, if somebody would like to have tickets mailed, though, they need to do it today. Okay. Uh, we like to give about a week for mailing tickets, and it's already under a week with mm-hmm. Christmas on Monday. Mm-hmm. So if you'd like to get the tickets mailed to you, you need to call in today. However, if you'd like to stop in and see us, we are up in our Lively Arts office, now, not downstairs in the box office. Okay. But we do have people working today, and you can come up through, let's just say, noon on Friday to get your your Christmas tickets printed in person. Okay, and so for folks who don't know where that office is? We are in, uh, it's the Performing Arts Center. It's in between Waller Hall. It's 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 kind of interesting little setup here. We're in between Waller Hall and Fisher Mm -hmm. Auditorium. And I'd like to tell people, if you know where Taco Bell is in town, (laughs) you look out the back window and you come up the back set of stairs and that will take you up to the second floor. It's really a beautiful place, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Once they they redid Fisher and connected it to Waller in that way. Well, it makes so much sense, you know? Sure it does. So. Yeah. So that's where you are and folks can stop by. Yep. And get their tickets. Now, in the Ovation series, just the Ovation series alone, let alone all the other series, uh, there's just some tremendous shows coming. There are. I, I have to tell you, I before I come do my interviews, I like to look at some video before I come in because I want to do it justice. I, mm-hmm. I want to get excited about it. And I tell you what, I was laughing like crazy when <laughs> I was looking at the Le Ballet Trocadero de Monte Carlo. We I call them you the might trocs. Be. Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. I wish my niece and nephew lived closer because I would love to take them to this. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, it's an all-male professional dance group dancing traditional ballet. On point. On point. In tutus. In tutus. <laughs> I mean, you can't get much better than that. Dudes in tutus Dude, dancing. Men in tights. There you men go. in tights. <laughs> so I I just, if if you have any doubt... Mm-hmm. Go on to YouTube and type in Trocadero, T R O C K A D E R O. Trocadero. Trocadero. Mm-hmm. Ballet Trocadero, or just Trocadero. It'll pop up. You will be howling with laughter. <laughs> so I think that is going to be so much fun. And that's coming up shortly, uh, Monday, February 5th at 8 o'clock yeah. in Fisher Auditorium. Uh, and it is a family friendly show. It is. It is. Mm-hmm. Lots, lots, and lots of fun. So. I am very excited about that. Um, and after that, we have a performance in Gorel Recital Hall. This will be our second performance this year in Gorel. It's a very mm-hmm. intimate space, um, just over 300 seats or so. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what I'm excited about with this show, it's a collaboration between a Native American musician who is one of the most multi-talented people that I've seen. He's an Mm -hmm. instrument maker. He's a painter, a sculptor, a beautiful artist, Robert Mirabal. And he has been collaborating with this uh, string quartet out of New York City called um, Ethel. And they've done an album together called The River. And they are presenting this uh, performance in Gorel Recital Hall, yeah. and it is gorgeous music, just gorgeous. Thursday, February 22nd for that show, and to see Robert Mirabal, he's a three-time Grammy winner, Robert yes. Mirabal, yes. Uh, with this group and this particular piece of music, uh, it's going to be fantastic. Gorel Recital Hall, to get that intimate setting. Uh, for a show of this caliber is amazing. It will be amazing. I, ah. You will not be disappointed if you make it out to that show. Yeah. 
and more. And more. And we have two performances in Gorel after that. Uh, after that, we have Jacob Shaw, who will be playing cello. And that's on Tuesday, March 6 at 8. Uh, and he's award-winning. He's given concerts all around the world. And he released his debut album in 2015. And what I appreciated about him was they, his approach to music has been called radical classical. <laughs> and it's kind of an alternative movement to try to build that next generation of people who can appreciate classical music. Mm -hmm. So if you love classical music, or even if you don't, it would be a really great concert to come out sure. to and, sure. and uh, enjoy. Mm -hmm. And then you do a piano piece. And then we do a piano piece. We're having Lee de La Salle. She's a pianist. And that will be on Tuesday, March 20th at 8 in Gorel. And... She's on the Steinway roster, uh -huh. and to be on that roster, you have to uh, be quite an artist, too. And, and IUP is an all-Steinway school. Yes, we are an all-Steinway school. She's been performing uh, for years, even though she's quite young. She made her concerto debut at the age of 13, and she became internationally recognized. She's had recordings that have been award-winning uh, and gramophone magazine had selected her as recording of the month so she just gives amazing performances wherever she goes mm -hmm. absolutely and then comes the Haya migration concert that's back in fisher yes and it is a world debut so come make history with us in wow. fisher hall and this is uh, an award award-winning music collective out of beijing and they're doing uh, a performance in Fisher, and it's they're representing a new age in Asian folk mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be very exciting. And again, these are all things. Please do yourself a favor. Go to YouTube. Type in Haya, H-A-Y-A, Migration, and several interesting clips will pop up. And get yourself excited about it, the shows that are coming in. YouTube doesn't exist without IUP. Because, <laughs> well, it's true. It was invented by a guy from IUP. So, um, so, so there you go. And now YouTube can help IUP by enabling you to watch these shows, including two really big performances coming up later in the fall. And again, the reason we're telling you about this is because the tickets are available now and you can buy them and put them in a Christmas stocking. Yes, put them in a Christmas stocking. Do yourself a favor. Mm -hmm. Kinky and Boots first. Kinky Boots uh, is on Thursday, April 19th at 8. And that was the winner of a Tony Award winning musical, Best Musical. And that's uh, going to be an amazing show. And it was inspired by true events. I don't know if people recognize that. But I, you know, I think that's going to be a lot of fun, too. The music from it is from Cindy Lauper. And, you know, it's about, you know, just trying to appreciate people and enjoy the world around you. And I, I think that's going to be an amazing show. Mm -hmm. And speaking of boots that move, Ben, ben Vereen will be stepping out in uh, the Wilford E. Howard Distinguished Artist Series on Thursday, May the 3rd. Ben Vereen coming ben here to Ben I know. I, uh, I grew up watching him on TV. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of us who've been out there and who have appreciated him as an artist... I mean, I remember sitting in class when I was a kid watching Roots on, uh -huh. on uh, through video. Um, but I, I think that's going to be exciting. He's been uh, on Broadway, he's done film, television. Um, he's a noteworthy gentleman with considerable talent. And he's been in shows like Bob Fosse's Pippin. And he's been in Wicked, Chicago, Hair, Fosse, and others. So... I think people need to come out and yeah. enjoy him. Yeah, I think one of the great things about Ben Vereen's show is he's going to incorporate some local musicians and 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 singers. Yeah, we're gonna we're a, working out those details as we speak. A so. choir and jazz ensemble from right here. And yeah, that'll be wonderful. Yep. Wonderful. Yep. Okay, and and that's ovations. Of course, there's theater by the Grove. There's dance theater. There's the University Museum. Sound choices. All of those other programs as we. Uh, run toward the end of our time here together with Kristen. We want to make sure people again know that these tickets are available now. Yes. And they can be gotten if you want them and mailed to you. 
today. Make that order today. Today. Give us uh, a call, uh, and we'll be happy to, to get those out to you. And then for the rest of the week, the schedule is that you'll be in the office? In the office. Let's say make your ticket order in person before noon on Friday just to make sure we get everything done. There you go. IUP right. Lively Arts. Wonderful. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful holiday. You do the same. It is Indiana in the morning. Presented by First Commonwealth Bank here on WCCS, AM 1160 and FM 101.1. We're headed toward Fox News at the top of the hour. We'll follow that with news from our WCCS newsroom with Josh Whittison. Jack Benedict comes by with sports, too.